Having well written resume is extremely important to increase the chance of getting an interview call. In this video, I'm going to share some resume writing tips for the position of data analyst. I have created a sample resume here using some fake data, but it will give you an idea on the structure of the resume. The first thing is your name and your contact information. You want to specify your phone number and email so that HR can communicate with you using those contact details. Then comes a link of your GitHub account. Ideally, you want, you want to have some data analytic projects uploaded on your GitHub account so that if the interviewer want to do a prior review of your project and code, it kind of helps. So it's important to have GitHub account link nowadays. You can also have your LinkedIn account uh, link. So if your LinkedIn account is good, it has some good reviews that will also be a little bit helpful. Then comes a section for your professional summary. If you are fresher, then you can include two or three lines about your education, etc. Uh, but if you're experienced, you can specify your experience, the industries that you have worked in, and some of the major tools that you have used or some of the major accomplishments. This should not be more than I would say four lines because you don't want to have a full paragraph in your professional summary. Then comes skill section. This is an important section. You want to categorize your skills into different categories. So here I have programming, visualization, database and soft skills. If you have some random skills, then you can have other skill section as well, where you can put whatever other skills you have. Programming nowadays is very important for data analyst store. And if an employer sees things like Python, R, SQL, it will highly increase the chance of you getting an interview call. In terms of visualization, Tableau, Power BI, BI SciSense, any visualization tools that you have. And then having database skills is always helpful. Then comes certification and award section. So let's say if you have done any certification online or in the university, you want to mention it. If you have won any awards in your past companies or in college, then mention them. This is rare, but sometimes people contribute to open source. So contributing to open source, having a good rank on stack or overflow, all these things will matter so much. So if you say, okay, I have this much stack overflow rank and I have contributed to open source uh, and let's say five of my pull requests were accepted, then it will give a solid impression on, on the employer and it will highly increase the chance of getting an interview call. Then comes your experience. So in the experience, you want to mention the time duration, then the company that you work with, your location and your role. Then comes few highlights about your work at that specific company. Now often I have noticed that people write paragraphs and paragraphs and they do not have any concrete details. You need to have concrete details in this section. So all those highlighted words in the bold, those are concrete details. Okay. I'm saying that I classified documents using Python Tesseract and regular expressions, and it improved the SLA for classification from 50 minute to two minute. This is showing my concrete achievement in that work, okay? I'm not writing a big paragraph describing a project. I've seen so many resumes, people describe the projects. They do not write their own contribution to that project, okay? This is my own contribution, my own ROI, like company invested some money in me and what return I gave back to that company. Similarly, highlight all the tools and technologies that you use, right? Here I use Excel, we look up G-square, normal tree distribution, which shows that I have some statistic skills. Then I have some skills of removing outlier using Python and pandas. So think from the perspective of your interviewer, that person is always looking for these kind of keywords in your resume. Okay. So you need to highlight those keywords and mention them. I also worked with engineering team and business team using Scrum and agile methodology. 
Scrum and Agile is a process of doing software development. It applies to other areas of non-software development as well. But oftentimes data analysts would be working with engineering team and business teams and they'll be using Scrum. So if you write something like this, it shows that you know how to work in Agile framework and you know how to do teamwork, etc. So not only you have technical skills such as visualization, programming, etc. You know how to work on a big software project or big data analytics type of project using Scrum. Then comes your next company. Uh, it has a similar uh, format, but again here you see some concrete details. When it says that I retrieved 2 million records and analyzed them in Jupyter Notebook, it shows that you know how to handle a humongous volume of data and you have those notebook skills where you can clean data, visualize, etc. Then again here you are say saying that the validations which was the result of my analytics work saved my company 1.5 million dollar having this kind of li line makes a solid impression because you are showing the end impact of your work so if you have your resume as a data analyst please check your resume do you have this kind of concrete details does it show the direct impact that you made by your work if not then you should rephrase those words and sentences here also another thing i did was worked in web traffic uh, data analytics which resulted into 25 percent traffic increase and 10 percent sales sales increase so again this is showing a key metric uh, of my work then comes education so in, in the education you want to mention your university your degree and your gpa i've seen people mention education at the very beginning so mentioning education in the beginning is good for for a fresher resume but if you have if you are already experienced i would suggest you put education towards the end because once you are experienced uh, then interviewer is interested in your actual hands-on experience right he's not interested in your degree that much now couple of things to remember your resume should not go beyond two page once you have three page four page five page resume it clear it it makes a negative impression actually you should be able to highlight all your work in two pages only okay also do not add any personal details i have seen people adding their marital status gender home location hobbies etc especially in india people add all those details just imagine if i am interviewing some person i don't care about whether the person is having a cricket as a hobby or not right his home location gender marital status those things are irrelevant hence you should not mention them one other tip is uh, you can customize your resume as per the job application so sometimes if you are let's say i'm applying in amazon and i'm applying in google now both the positions have diff slightly different requirements so then look at the job description and whatever skills that they need try to highlight those in your resume so it is perfectly okay to customize or tweak your resume based on the position that you are applying to all right that's all i had for this video i'm going to put a link of this sample resume in the description below so that you can download the resume and feel free to use it if you want to uh, just use this as a template then download it and just fill in your details and start using this resume.